There's some interesting jobs out there that get interesting-er when animals do them. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. There are an estimated eight and a half million species, what? different ones on this planet. I know because I counted. And what do human animals do with such a wide variety and amazing pool of potential? We put them animals to work, y'all. Oh, wow. So today I'm gonna put Rhett to work, testing his animal workforce knowledge in a game I'm calling. These animals work hard for the money, hard for the money. They work hard for the money. What's their job and you better get it right. Okay, Rhett and Mythical Beast, I'm gonna present an animal from the oh, animal kingdom. Love and animals. And then I'm gonna give you some multiple choices as to what his or her interesting job is, okay? Okay. If you get four out of six of these right, then I have to clean up the mythical poop zone where the dogs poop outside. Uh, if if you don't get four, I don't go out there. You have to clean up the mythical poop zone. Okay. Y'all haven't been cleaning up after yourselves out they there. Ha they have not. Uh, I'm gonna give you three lifelines. Okay. The first one is Fluff Thank you. Fluffy gets fired, where two of the answers are fired. Got it. Taken away. 50 -50. So there's fifty fifty chance at that point. Yep. Uh, the second one is. Ask a real working animal. Oh, a real working we animal. Have a real working that animal that talks and will give you uh, his or her input. Okay. And the third one is a bird's got the word. Where a bird's gonna fly in and tweet a little hint in your ear. Are you wow. ready? Let's I'm, play. I can't wait to see that. In the Philippines, people are putting snakes to work by a crushing grapes in wine production. B squeeze massaging people in health spas. C serving as living vaults by eating people's valuables. Or D, responding to parcel tongue and divulging the secrets of Hogwarts. I'm assuming I would think that that parcel tongue thing was funny if I understood what it was. It's not funny. It's just very intriguing. If that um, if that's what it is. <clears throat> okay. Very intriguing. Logic uh, is what I'm about to employ. What do snakes in the Philippines do, right? Snakes can't crush grapes. That's not going to happen. I don't think you can put a valuable item into a snake because it would then digest it. You don't want that to happen. It would be no longer valuable. It would be when it I think out. I've actually seen internet videos of uh, people with snakes on their backs, semi-naked people with snakes on their backs. Uh, and it was an appropriate sight. And it was a massage. So I'm gonna go with B. That's right, you're about to see another one too. Here it is. Look at these people getting massaged by pythons. Oh. They're not scared at all. <laughs> oh, look at her. She's happy. Well, well, she doesn't even look like that. It doesn't look like a massage. Oh, that's a massage. She's loosening up. Good job, Rhett. You're off to a good start. Yes, I'm a natural. Pigeons are great at getting from point A to B. They are. So people in Colombia make them A, smuggle contraband into prisons, B, race each other in illegal gambling matches, C, measure long distances for highway construction, or D, carry other pigeons as carrier pigeon carriers. Oh, it wouldn't that be fun? Well, it depends on which pigeon you um, are. Well, uh, as a fan of the Netflix original show, Narcos, uh, I know that pigeons have been used to send messages from prisons in Colombia, so I can only assume that they also are used to smuggle contraband back into prisons. I'm going with A. Oh, I haven't seen that. I didn't know that you had seen it yeah. and that that was part of it, but you're right. Yes, uh, I'm an animal genius. But this happened in real life, not just in Netflix series. A block away from a prison in Bucaramanga, Colombia, cops busted a carrier pigeon with drugs strapped to its back because it flopped to the ground due to overloading. Can't oh. get overzealous yeah, 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 when yeah. you're trying to get the pigeon back into the you prison. Like le less than half a kilo. I, I'm not gonna, I have no less expertise. Less than half a kilo of coke. And neither do you. So chill out big pigeon. on the specific drug references. Okay, all right. When Twiggy the squirrel isn't collecting whatever nuts she can find in Florida for the winter, she is A, foraging for rare acorns used at a local gourmet restaurant, B, starring in movies water skiing behind a tiny motorboat, C, selling used cars in local commercials dressed as a leprechaun, or D, singing in an all squirrel acapella group called Rodentatonics. Oh, give them a Grammy. 
You earn a Grammy. They are not giving. Okay, uh, I have, I, I, you know what? I have my suspicions of what squirrels uh, would be capable of, but in order to confirm my suspicions, I would like to fire the furry, what is it? Fluffy fires. What Fluff, is it? Fluffy gets fired. I would like to, yeah, that one. So we are removing DNA. DNA? And leaving B and C. Okay. Water skiing or local commercials? This I know for a factoid. Twiggy's in show business in one form or another. I know for a factoid that there are water skiing squirrels. Also, I've, I, I have witnessed this because I spent a lot of time on the internet. I'm going then with- Then why did you bam. use a lifeline? Because I wanted to make sure. Oh, I know for a fact, but I wanted to make sure. You're right, man. What you you know all about putting animals to work. I found my work, calling, man. man. I found my freaking calling. I'm gonna be cleaning up some poop. Check out this yeah. motionless See? squirrel. It's just like as long as I say still, everything's gonna be okay. You think that squirrel knows what's going no. on? No. And that squirrel is several trained squirrels that actually play the role of Twiggy. Don't ruin it for me. Featuring in Do Don't ruin it. Dodgeball and Anchorman. Yeah. Also, those movies. I've seen both of them. Ferrets because of their agile. <laughs> Agile, body shape, and intelligence. My my father-in-law likes to mispronounce words to be funny, but we just think he's uh, doesn't have good vocabulary. Oh, <laughs> maybe okay. Who's right? Who's right? Who's wrong on that one? The ferrets make great hostage negotiators, delivering messages in hostage situations. B space electricians pulling wires through pipes for the U.S. Space Command. C, physicist janitors cleaning the inside of particle accelerators? Or D, doctors climbing inside patients to perform low budget colonoscopies? Ew. <laughs> oh gosh. Mm. Did you just burp over there? No, I just. <laughs> that's just that's that the way. sound I make when I think about a squirrel like, colonoscopy. Gassy. <laughs> um. <laughs> I've never made that noise in my life. I uh, I feel like I, have, I just have a logical approach to this, but you know what? I really want to get a a hint from a little birdie. What do you call that? Bird is the word. Bird's got the word. That's the one I want to use. I wanna, All right. I want to hear a bird. Give me. L a let's hint. bring in the bird. Oh, it's a stuffed cockatrice. He's got to get over there and give a hint. I'm not a hostage. I don't know, what did the bird say to you? I couldn't hear him. He what said, the... I'm not a hostage. Oh, okay. Not a hostage then, okay. What? That has no bearing on anything other than it would mean that he wasn't A. I or could... he could be tricking you. I could see, uh, because they can get into lots of spaces and they're smart, I could see them going into pipes and pulling things through. And so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna say B, final answer. You're correct again, I'm cleaning up poop, but you know what, this is a double answer. I've been way too easy on you today, man, because uh, it's B, space electrician, and C, physicist janitor. Check this out. Oh, uh, I could have been. I could have had two two chances. Yeah, I just I just wanted to be able to talk about this. The okay. fact that All right. uh, the U.S. Space Command used a ferret named Misty to feed thousands of cables through 40 foot of piping. So ferret goes through a pipe. And in 1971, Fermilab, we all know about Fermilab. They used a ferret named Felicia to clean the inside of their particle accelerator, accelerator by giving her a specially made collar and having her run through 300 feet of pipe. You know what they say to Felicia as she goes into the pipe? Probably not by Felicia. For several years, the United States Navy has been teaching- so hold on, I'm gonna, I gotta run the table. My mission now is to run okay. the table. The United States Navy has been teaching sea lions to A, distract enemies during amphibious attacks, B, disable motors on enemy ships? C, attack and handcuff enemy divers? Or D, bark the song, In the Navy, by the village people? Wow, I know they're smart. In the Navy. <laughs> Distract enemies during amphibious attacks. I don't, I, 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 uh, I want another lifeline. I, I want to ask a working animal. I Bring in the working, working animal. animal. Been waiting in the wings for years. Oh, look, it's, it's, uh, Chasey, the the lifeguarding giraffe. Yeah, no running. Um. <laughs> uh, <it's>, oh. <laughs> okay, thanks. All for right, Chasey. Chasey. You're welcome. Chasey, the, the lifeguarding giraffe. I, I don't I don't get the juxtaposition, but I appreciate it. <laughs> Just give me your answer. You heard him. Uh, I think that it's probably going to be. I don't know. Handcuffing sounds crazy. Yeah. I think, I think if that's the answer, I'm going to be real happy. You're gonna be real happy? Yeah, because that sounds really cool. I wanna see that. 
You know what? I bet you they. Can, I bet you they can handcuff. You know what? You're not just a great lifeguard. You're a great clue giver. I'm gonna oh. say C. Handcuff. Everybody's happy today. <laughs> they do attack and handcuff enemy divers. Okay, you you, you can take Thanks, off. You probably, you probably got a kid to save for like a baby giraffe or something. Uh, Man. So I don't have a video to show. I'm sorry five I can't show you this. Five. But, uh, sea lions attach leg cuffs to enemy divers, so it's technically leg cuffs. But you didn't. Feet are just hands down give me below. That option. Immobilizing them and allowing human sailors on the surface to pull in the intruders. Huh. Let, let's round it out. See if you can get this one right. Yeah. Let's see. Clean slate. Clean sweep. <laughs> yes. Clean sweep. That's what it's yeah, called. Yeah, 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 yeah. A small restaurant in Japan manages a myriad of monkeys that a dress like women and serve drinks to patrons. B perform a cute breakdance routine every hour on the hour. C hand knead dough to be made into ramen noodles. Or D work the door as security, flinging their poo at the rowdy guests. Monkeys. Okay, monkeys dressing up and serving people. That would be fun. I'd go to that restaurant. Japan is into that kind of thing. Uh, they also would be very likely to break dance, but that's not very helpful. Helpful? At a restaurant? Why do they gotta be helpful if they can be entertaining? I think that they actually bring the drinks to the patrons for the six for six win. That's your final answer? Yes. I'm sorry, Rhett. You're right! Yes! Clean Woo! Let's take a look at that monkey! Check it out. Oh, look at uh, that. Holy Actually, no. it's, Oh, that's, that is the freakiest. Yeah, what, that's Why do they have to have them? Ah, I don't. That's like a horror movie. I don't want to drink from that lady. Monkey lady giving fives. Oh, gosh. Kind of creepy. Do you still want to go to that restaurant? No. All right, if you're curious what's going on inside the hearts and minds of these hardworking animals, what are they thinking? What are they feeling? There's actually an interesting audio book all about that. It's called Animal Wise, The Thoughts and Feelings of Our Fellow Creatures. Uh, you can listen to that on Audible along with over 180,000 other titles and we got a special deal for you mythical beasts. Go to audible.com slash GMM and get a free 30 day trial. The link is in the description. Audible.com slash GMM. Thanks for liking, commenting, subscribing and sharing this video with your family and friends. You know what time it is? Hi, I'm Chris. And I'm Jaden. And, and we're from Sydney, Australia. Australia. And, and these are our mythical beasts. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Thanks to Audible for sponsoring this episode. Go to audible.com slash GMM for your free 30-day trial. And click through to Good Mythical More where I'm going to share the story of how my dog Jade almost made me blind. Oh, put that dog It's a work. sore subject. Hey, Link is a piñata at a children's party. Uh, uh, oh no, oh no, here it, here it comes. I know it's gonna, mm, forget this. <laughs> Mom! <laughs> one of those things that, I wish it was caught on video because it's, you know, it's like, one, like running through a spider web. Like I, st I stood up really fast and then probably. Is that like a spider web that's really big and brown? That yeah, you can put see. your eye out.